Today's video comes from Kendall in Cumbria in the Lake District. The original intention was to say how the high street is going to bounce back after Covid and just over life how things have deteriorated a little bit. But as I've done this film I will give you that message but what I've also realised is this is where I live and this is the place I love and this video is just about to show you how sensational the area is. As I've put the video together it's got more and more phenomenal in every shot. What a blessing of a place that you get the opportunity to see. But this is Kendall. We're driving down the boulevard Cruising with the windows down Feeling like we run this town Your song is on the radio The one you always like The one that always gets you psyched We're certainly not short of green spaces here in Kendall. This is another beautiful place by the river right in the middle of town this is another one this is i don't even know its name i know it used to be a car park Another outstanding piece of green space. Just being out in Kendall in the sun just reminds you how special and lovely a place it is and how much of a blessing that we get to live in this most amazing, beautiful place. This is part of the new Kendall, the new vision going forward of who we're gonna be and what we're gonna represent. The Brewery Arts Centre is a good reflection of that. Brings a lot of people to the town and it's something more we could engage you more and do more events from it, but it's definitely one of our strengths. It's one of my firm favourites anyway. I know we all love the cinema, but more music, we'd love to see more music from here. But it is a beautiful, beautiful place. Another one that Kendall has to offer. I remember when this place came, everyone says it's not gonna work, it's a massive failure. But you know what, they were right. But just like every failure in your life, I don't see it as failure. I see it as in a future success. Sometimes it's only circumstance that stops us. This place would have worked. It's by the river, amazing. I could have looked right down this side and there'd have been lovely restaurants, a vibe at night, but it couldn't work because of the houses where we had a limitation on noise barrier after a certain time. So yeah, it didn't work for that, 
but we changed it, we moved and we went forward. Let's look at what we moved forward with because this is gonna go bang for Kendall. Boarded up shops, empty shops, doom and gloom. No, 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 not doom and gloom. This is the beginning of the change of Kendall. No better thing to be said as one gate closes, another gate opens. No longer are we the gateway to the lakes. We, like Travel Lodge has decided, are a destination in itself. Kendall has everything you could ever want. If you've never been, you must come explore this amazing landscape, beautiful green spaces, and if you get in your car, you're in the Lake District in 15 minutes. Come to Kendall. It's where my heart is and the place I absolutely love. Just to give some time thing, I, I'm originally not from Kendall, but I've been here for 30 years. I moved here from a place in Greater Manchester. So I think when people have not, not been in other places, they can find fault. But I come to this place and I look around and every day I wake up here and every day I spend my time here and every day I love it more and more and more. I want this video to show you not why just why I love it but why if you come you will love it as well. We need to, as a town, take personal responsibility for making it go forward. Lots of people in everywhere, this town, every other town say oh we don't have this we don't have that and many times it's through circumstances that maybe we we can't sustain it the whole time or maybe people aren't going so this is a call and a rally call for everyone this is kendall we're talking about we'll come to your town soon but everything that comes on every event that we get as an opportunity we take it here we have many events we have the mountain film festival we have the torchlight parade we did have comic art we have a number of other things. I'm, we have the Whiskey Festival coming this year. I'm personally committing to go to every one of these events. So I asked you to go to these same events as well. If the events go on and people from around there don't sign up, they will never keep going, never keep flowing. We, as individuals, need to commit to joining them, taking part in them. Because an event without people, yes, it's a failure. There's lots of people here and everywhere, but we, personally must start attending the events that are given to us. Today is gonna be the day that we throw it all back to you. By now you should have saw my realize what you gotta do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. people of Kendall what they would like to see changes of and it was an un, unmeasurable amount of people came forward to offer suggestions I think there was 250 comments in total some of the comments were based on the old mythical parking thing that we all draw to in many towns my thing with parking is disabled parking we should have more because people who are struggling to walk need to be right in the middle of things for everyone else, I don't mind you parking half a mile away to walk to work. Because when you walk to work, your body gets pumping and moving. And all that's going to happen is positive, productive energy. Making you feel good and your health being better. 
So let's not mourn about parking, let's get to grips with what the other problems are. Kendall, 32,000 people approximately, has struggled to support certain things, so we need to support it as a community. When there's events on, we need to attend every event. I'm putting myself forward now, I'm vouching. Contact me, I will attend every single event Kendall does in a year from now. If it's on, I am going to attend and support it. Because us as community members, we're the important part of what create community. A lot of people talked about we want we need stuff activities for kids and babies. This happens and people don't attend. So what we can do is we can create a subgroup of people with babies, because obviously I had babies once and now they're older. I'm not interested in going to baby events. But those, but those who've got babies are interested in it. So what we need to do is collectively, one business, support them. Put a hundred pound in each to create a little baby crash. And when you get your money back by going to attend it, then you'll pass it on. We have to support everyone post COVID. People have not had the finances, they've missed out on making money for a long period of time now. Another thing they talk about, we need a bowling alley. We want a collaborative of food. Yes, we do. But people struggle to do that on their own. So we need six or seven of you, eight, nine, ten getting together. Here's an example now of a place. This is the kind of place that could be a food hall for Kendall. Music food, different food from around the world. People will be coming in a hub. We can't do it on our own, but if you collectively get together, we can do it. As a community, we can do anything, but please stop blaming everyone else. It's not the council's fault. It's not, it's not COVID's fault. We have to take personal responsibility and do what we can do. Are you doing everything you can do for Kendall? I know I haven't been but I am now and it started with this video. Beautiful place that is full of lovely people in the most tranquil, beautiful surroundings like you've never seen before. Lots of people have a lot of problems to say, but let's not look at problems. Let's look at this marvelous place that we get to call home and let everyone put a little bit of you into it so it goes from it goes from the most extraordinarily amazing place to a supersonic place for people to come.